Hey everybody, Brian the Wild Armenian, Rat Ride Carport, Builder Mechanic, whatever you want to call me. Don't call me late for lunch, and if you do, don't feed me, not even lunch yet. And I just ate breakfast a while ago, but anyway, uh, I took time. I've got a busy Saturday morning. I got to go to the dump and put throw our uh, garbage away, and I do that every uh, Saturday ritual, you know. I, I fired the uh, trash guys many, many months ago. Uh, they kept raising their prices, plus they kept having different rule change, you know. They didn't like it up against the fence. We got to walk all the way down to the end of the driveway to take our garbage. Uh, I didn't want them in the yard. They used to come up into the yard, up into the, you know, property, and they did glass and everything. And it's just like one thing after another. They raised the price of us, and that's it. I got old square body uh, GMC truck, uh, 83 model, and uh, once uh, every Saturday I use it, and it helps keep it you know, lubricate it and keeps the battery charging and all that good stuff and uh, saves me a ton of money. It's probably, I probably hold, geez, 10 miles around trip, I guess, if I never really met, uh, uh, estimate how long it is. It's short, just down the road. But anyway, back to that. I'm not here to talk about my breakfasts or my <laughs> garbage situation. What I'm talking about today is um, maintaining um you know, I'm going to be 65 here shortly, and I should have retired at 62, uh, but I didn't. And um, and what I do now, you know, I'm, I, I run the budget and all that good stuff. And, and I always see these shows on about gold, you know, and then Robert Kiyosaki was a big advocate about gold. And, uh, yeah, you know, gold, I don't have any. I got a gold, you know, wedding band and gold, <laughs> but uh, that's the only gold I have. Uh, and yes, I agree, gold is a good hedge uh, against inflation. Because if you bought gold many years ago at a certain, certain price, whatever the spot price was, uh, you know, it's definitely held its value and then wins, then some. Uh, you could buy it right now because I've, I've really been studying up on gold for the last couple of years because I was wanting to take my money and put it somewhere. I put my monies in CDs and all that. Okay, and the, the fight about or the, 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 the argument about, okay, the inflation is making our dollar weak, no doubt. So in a sense, he's right about the gold it's going to, it's tangible. It's been around since Jesus Christ. I mean, that long, you know, gold has been traded, silver too, and some other commodities. Um, but yeah, I agree with that, you know. Um, but for me, I can't go out and buy a hunk of gold. I have to have money that makes, you know, turns money uh, to keep my money, you know, investing like that, you know, say like in CDs and stuff like that. And yes, I get it. The dollar, de you know, de de devaluating itself, yeah. Uh, and if there is going to be a day when we're our dollar, you have to take a wheelbarrow full of it, dollar bills to buy a loaf of bread, that day is going to be anarchy. And, and gold really is not going to help you at that time. Anarchy hits, it's whoever's got the biggest lead, the biggest bullets is going to win. I mean, and that, they're not really going to win neither, and uh, neither, neither, whatever, I can't even talk, right? <laughs> anyway, but that's the point, you know, um, lead would be more uh, valuable than gold, silver, money, anything at that time, uh, and, and I hope and pray that we don't live that thing, and it could happen. I mean, it, it's, you know, the Fed just keeps jacking up the interest rate, and they're doing it for a reason. I'm not, I'm not supporting them or, or, or going along with what they're doing. But there's a reason why they're doing it is because inflation is killing the dollar bill. If the Fed does not win, you know, they're not going to have a soft landing. That soft landing a couple of years ago, a year ago, was BS. I knew that was BS. So if they don't have a soft, I mean soft landing, here I go. If, if they don't uh, do what they're out to get, in other words, bring down inflation, then we are in trouble. We're definitely in trouble. So if you do have gold, you will win. I mean, at that point, you are a winner there because your money, your gold value will hold whatever the value, the, the value of the climate at that time. It will hold its value. Yes. Now what I do, I'm not dumb. I don't count on, I don't keep my eggs in one basket. I'm a real estate guy. I like real estate. So I have investment property. And that is my gold. It is intangible like gold. Yes, that's been around around 
same time Jesus had, and before Jesus, I mean, you know, it's been around from the beginning of the day, land, okay? <laughs> so yes, land holds its value also. It is a hedge. Real estate is a hedge against inflation. Uh, I know the property values on homes and everything are just double inflationary, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about raw land. It is a hedge. Okay, it doesn't do anything, but just sits there. I gotcha. But I can afford to hold on to it. You know, it costs me property tax. Okay, once a year, it's not that much. And I'll tell you what, if I have a whole bunch of gold, I guarantee I'm going to have to pay somebody to store it. Okay, not unless I flip it into an IRA or whatever. I don't know much about that. And if you do, please give me a comment, email me, and educate me too on that. Um, but if I have gold, I have a shipping container, a 40-footer. I could build a vault in there and put put my gold in there because then every night I'm going to be sleeping with my gun worrying about it. And then I already told you I have a shipping container, see? And if you see I have a shipping container and you want to rob me, you're going to break into it anyway, you know? If you're going to rob me, you're going to find that. Back when my mom was in the Great Depression, you brought up, she told me people used to put their money in the pillows, in their mattresses, because they didn't trust banks. Banks went broke anyway, you know. But And it worked out for some people. And some people, if you got hoods coming around to rob you, they're going to rob you. And that's a bottom thing. So there again, yes. Yeah, hopefully, uh, it doesn't happen anytime soon. I mean, it could. That's a reality. But for right now, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to maintain my money. You know, watch, be frugal. Everything's paid for. Don't owe anything. Uh, credit card. The only time I use a credit card is when I want to buy something because I don't trust uh, using my debit card. Credit card's protected, but I pay that off real quick. You know, I, it's paid off in a week or whatever. You know, it's and that's it. I, I could be debt free. So that's it. That's my spill. You know, gold, yeah, it's tangible. Yes, I agree. Also is real estate, too. And here's one more thing I will say. I know this because I talk to gold uh, smiths and people like that that sell and buy gold. And I said, so if I want to sell gold, so let's say 20 people storm the, the pawn shop or the, uh, uh, the person, the broker that sells the gold, and they want to cash in their gold. You know what? It's at that broker if he can afford to pay you or he's going to get you below the price maybe of, of the value of that gold. So in other words, it's like a real estate. If I need money, I want, let's say I want X amount of dollars for it, but now I'm hurting for money, let's say, or I need to cash that out and I can't get a fast sale, you know, then I'm going to have to drop my price. You know, so I lose out on the profit that I was going to think. But hopefully I don't sell it at cost or below cost. That's when I totally, total liquidation, you know, of asset. And that would be horrible if ever anything ever like that happened. So if the best case scenario, if I sold the property, I would sell it and make a little bit of profit on it, you know, but I don't want to do that either. That's the whole idea of holding real estate, real estate, because it's an asset. It grows with money. Well, with that, you know, and if you're, you know, and I understand a lot of people don't have real estate. They live in an apartment or something like that. Then maybe then you look at gold, IRA. I don't know much about it. Don't take my word on it. You know, you have to see how, how well it's protected. Is it protected? That's what you need to know. Or maybe you can store a little gold here and there under your shoe. I don't know. When it, I don't know much about that end of it. But I know one thing. I do know certainly one thing. It is tangible. You can hold it just like land, the real estate. I can touch and I can hold a piece of sand in my, and this is my property. Anyway, I want to say something. I got this out of the King James. I get a meditation thing on my app every um, day. And I, I really, it struck me good. It says, maintaining financial stability. Wealth only becomes troublesome when we put blank. We put material objects in the way, and we worship money. God is our only treasure. So God bless you guys. Hey, and if you like what you hear, please like and describe and hit the notice bell. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. I need all the support I get. God bless you guys. Thank you.